My name is Gabriel Ebert. I play uh, Harry Wormwood in Matilda the Musical. And I'm going to sing a little Cole Porter right now. When I was a kid, my father was a critic for the local newspaper, which is called the Columbine Courier, and he wrote the Arts and Entertainment Review every week. And so he and I saw a play a week, basically, for years. Only you beneath the moon and under the sun. I was sort of stepping into a role that had already been uh, developed, but Matthew, the director, who's an amazing mind, um, allowed me to have this very firm foundation of what he wanted the show to be, but then within that foundation he let me have immense freedom, uh, which I'm really grateful for. For a while terrified me, but then actually I was able to find really cool stuff within it. Qualities that I think Roald Dahl is writing, which is more archetypal. In a way, I couldn't be farther from this character. This guy's like a sort of daft father who's cruel just because he's uneducated. The real secret to my performance are these bad boys right here. The pure alligator, the truest of the true, from the deepest of the Nile. And that's what makes me such a man. Huh? Huh? Look at that. Glorious. And I've got a good deal of makeup to put on, I've got a good deal of wigs to put on. I got chops, stash, wigs. And so that'll start at 6, makeup at 6, wigs at 6.30, and then by about 6.50, I sing a song on my ukulele for the Trunchbull. A little song before each show, so it gets us in the mood. In my heart there is but one deed. I was told I needed to spruce it up a bit, so one thing that's cool is uh, Susan, who does my wig, she gave me this really trashy, kitschy 80s car poster, which I think is fitting for Harry Wormwood. And then this is one of my prized possessions, the guy who plays my son, Taylor Trench wrote to me, Dear Dad, you're my hero, love Michael. And of course, because Michael is a bit slow, it's written like that. I'll have reached the goal I'm dreaming of, believe me, I don't want to set the world. There were so many opening night gifts and cards, it was really ridiculous. So a good deal of these are cards from the opening night, and I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to breathe it all in. Yeah, I'm quite honored. I just want to start a flame in your